Um, now, I'm sure something that's had your focus a lot recently is you've been cooking up a solo album. Mm-hmm. When is that coming out? Tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> what's, what's going on with that, man? Um, well, it is being mastered as we speak. Like, it's not even on the version I sent y'all. Like, it's... It's crazy. Man. Okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't going to say anything, but the version he sent us is amazing. <laughs> uh, I, I've, I've been listening to it. Um, what is the album called? Again, It is called uh, Tales from the Old Dominion. Tales from the Old Dominion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A little, little Virginia influence. Oh, yeah, in got, there. got to, man. Got to. I mean, that's my thing. Like, I always want to, like, represent for, like, the home team, represent for the city, represent for, like, the people I grew up with, my friends, my family. You know, just kind of, like, make. You know, make those people proud because in a sense it's like, you know, money can't really buy that shit. So it's kind of like when you when you have a chance to like really do something that means something to you and everybody else, it's like, you know, go for it. Yeah, why not? How, how often do you get a chance to like really touch people? Um, mm. How long were you working on your album? <sighs> two, two and a half years. Wow. And I was kind of like, well, it was just like, I started doing it after the Hazy Moves album, and it just kind of like, you know, a lot of stuff happened in the sense of just like, you know, went through a breakup, went through like, you know, f- death in the family, and kind of failed business ventures and shit like that, and kind of, I kind of just stepped away for a while and got my scene together, and it's like once the, it was really when the pandemic hit, it was kind of like, well, I have nothing but time. I'm in my house. I'm surrounded by. All these rinky dink, <laughs> rinky dink like music gear, or whatever. It's like I need to be able to like finish this. I need to like, if there's like a, if there's not anything telling me to finish this, it's right now. It's just you know, this pandemic, it's being in the house, and it's like, I sat down and like started writing, started uh, you know recording different ideas, and just kind of started putting stuff together. And it's funny because like the album where it stands now was a totally different album from what it was in like June of last year. Cause I mean, there was like, like half of the tracks that are on the album now, like weren't even like a thing like a year ago. Like, so it's a lot of new stuff. That a lot, you've come a, a lot of newer stuff. Yeah. But it's just like hearing like the older stuff that I took off. I'm like going like through the list before I even like send like the stuff off the master. I'm like going through the old playlist. I'm just like, damn, there is that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's that one too. That's that one too. I was kind of forgetting about it, but yeah, I mean, I've, it's one of those things where I feel like, you know, now that that's completed, I can just kind of move on to the next project, you know, start doing beats and start doing freelance, more, like more freelance stuff and mm-hmm. just kind of just like let it just let it just sit in the oven for a while, let it cook. And then once it's time to come out, it'll be it'll be what it is. That's- I do. I'm sorry. Um, I, I looked no, over you back exactly. there. My bad. Um, so I know that you are like talented across like all the instrument planes, but have you ever, I guess, working with a lot of vocalists, like ever wanted to do anything like with your own voice, like on any of your tracks? <laughs> That's what the, the new album. Okay. The new album is a, is a lot of me singing. A lot of. You. And and that's the thing, like here, you know, I'm not sure if it's like this for everybody, but hearing my own voice back, I'm, I, I just cringe. I don't know why. It's kind of like, is that what I, is that what I sound like? Is that what I? But then I'm just kind of like, it, it becomes something where it's just like, I know it's coming from a place where like I'm internalizing certain things in the sense of like trying to really recreate certain feelings. And so like you know, at that moment in time when I'm like laying down vocals, I'm like, okay, well. I believe in it in that time, and it's like, yeah, like it feels good and it feels great to me. But then other times I'm kind of like, you know, like listening to this audio back, I'm just kind of probably gonna be like, why do I sound so nasally? <laughs> why do I like why do I sound so whatever, whatever? But you know, it's just like I'm like not used to hearing my own voice, you know, outside of my head. I guess you know, but yeah, the new project's got a lot, a lot more vocals on it for sure. I mean, because she hears vocals as like an instrument, you know what I mean? Like, oh, to, yeah, to her, right, it's right, just, right, right, right. It's noise. She can't hear the words, and so she just likes how it sounds and stuff like that. So she's made me think of the voice as just like, no, nah, I mean, you're just putting another instrument and layering in it with. Oh, I mean, I mean, talking about Richmond, I mean, D'Angelo is a prime example of that. Like, 
I can't tell you how many times, like, I still look at the lyric books and be like, yo, what was he saying? <laughs> but it, it, it just feels good. Like, you know, just like the inflections, it's like, like you know, like you said, it's an instrument. It's like the tone of it and just like the whole, like the inflections and different nuances of certain shit that he's singing. It's like, it's like I don't know what he's saying, but it feels good. <laughs> I heard that for a part of a... Uh the Black Messiah album that he had recorded his vocals underneath a blanket smoking a cigarette. So it was like the most smoky, dense place that you could oh, record yeah, vocals, yeah, yeah. like underneath of a blanket, just like yeah, sitting it was, on the yeah, floor. Yeah, it was like a, it was like a little like, uh, like the studio walls have like those like huge curtains. Mm -hmm. So like they took one of those curtains and like took like a studio bath for it and like built it like a, like a little teepee. Like, a, like an Indian TP, And this is like, they put the Rhodes keyboard in there, they put an ashtray in there, they put a little lamp and the remote to the like, tape machine and everything. It was just like, I, the only reason I know about it because I saw it in like the, uh, the D'Angelo documentary. Oh, Did I send you that? No. I'm about to.